if you can imagine, this is my computer on my server, and this is my housemate's computers. This is our router, this is obviously the internet, and this is the client trying to connect to the server that I'm hosting, which is here. Now, right now, with my settings, that's impossible. I need to allow the port, which we put as 9999, to be port forwarding, which means it will allow this client to connect to our router using this IP address and find the port that's forward to this IP address. Now that's quite a lot of information, it's a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna show you how we do it. On your system, if you're using Windows 10, you use CMD here, and we'd put in IP config. Now straight away, our default gateway, which is our router, is on my computer, it's 192.168, etc. My local IP address is 192.168.0.2. So I know I want to put this address into my web browser. So let's do that now. Your router obviously might be different from mine. It most likely will be. You'll be asked for your password and your WPS pin. This will be found on your router itself. Now if I sign in. Now my router, I know where my port forwarding is. It might be somewhere else different on yours, but you will have to search around. I know it's most likely to be in my advanced settings. If we go down to our security, which port forwarding is considered, we are found port forwarding. The application I'm trying to allow is the chat room, so I'm going to call it Godot Chat Room. I know it's four nines. I'm pretty sure mine is UDP, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use them both. Now, if you remember, my local computer IP address on this server is this number here. So we want to make sure that it matches. So obviously it's two. Now that I'm happy with everything, I can add the rule, apply it, yes. It's there, so this means now that if I give my IP address, not my local, but my actual IP address out as well as the game, people now can connect to my chat room if it's running. Now you don't want to give them this address. You want to go to your web browser and go to whatismyip.com. Now for obvious reasons, I don't want to show my IP online, but that's the first two numbers of it. So this is the number that you want to give to your friends. So that's cool, but what if you had a game that you really liked, say like Quake or something, and you want to host a server? Most of the time, if you're behind a router, it won't allow you if it's a private server, but we can get around that by going to this website. It's called Port Forward, so portforward.com. I just search Rocket League, and for this example, we'll just go down and we'll find that I'm on PC, obviously, so it's Steam. So here's a number of the ports that we need to forward. So you'd follow the same steps as before, but instead of using four nines, you'd put the, this data in instead. Then you'd be able to host a private game. So that concludes the end of this tutorial. If you have any more questions on port forwarding or network in general, please let me know. I'm currently doing a few tutorials at the moment. The next one will be a top-down shoot -em game, which is online. I've got a great Discord channel. A link will be in the description below if you want to join. We've got some nice people in there. I'd just like to take some time to thank Todd for his kind donation on buymeacoffee.com. I really appreciate it. It's a really kind gesture. And I'll see you in the next one.